uh, where did you get the idea of using the uh, the WCG for the HCMD project? So what happened is that uh, the project was presented to the association uh, for the French Association for uh, against the myopathy, and uh, so at the point uh, the, the project was accepted. It was uh, evaluated internationally. It was accepted, and I had funds. Uh, but then uh, we really soon realized that uh, the computational time was far too much. And uh, at this point, uh, um, I must say that the project was uh, accepted by AFM, which is this association, but uh, it was working in collaboration with IBM and CNRS. So what happened is that uh, IBM at this point said, well, we have uh, this grid, uh, the whole community grid that uh, we are actually powering, and uh, what about uh, presenting the project at World Community Grid? So the project uh, ran okay, for entering uh, as all other projects in, uh, in uh, World Community Grid. And uh, well, that's why we use actually completely and only the computer power of World Community Grid today. So how does that compare to a standalone supercomputer? Uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of that? Well, it's, uh, it's a larger grid, it's more powerful. Okay. Yes. And any disadvantages that you find? Uh, no, not really. I mean, uh, we need to to be careful. But this is IBM that is going to take care of it. Uh, to be careful about redundancy of the of the data that is coming uh, back from the different uh, personal computers. So, on, so one single uh, uh, interface calculation is actually put on five or six different uh, computers uh, computers around the world, okay. anywhere. And uh, we need the redundancy. Okay. But besides that, uh, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. And what were, your biggest, what were your biggest challenges in getting this done? So, what we hope for, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, so, in fact, uh, um, the, the project uh, is presented as uh, a, a project uh, that uh, is um, aimed to muscular dystrophy. And um, there are uh, about 200 proteins that are involved in muscular dystrophy that we're checking and uh, over the thousand proteins. So what about the other interactions or possible interactions? In fact, what happened is that in the project, we are going to take out information possibly for other illnesses as well. And what we hope for is that uh, we are going to find those or discriminate those partners in, uh, inside these uh, thousand, 2,200 uh, human proteins that uh, we could furnish uh, to um, people working in different type of diseases and uh, to check experimentally and uh, then be sure that indeed uh, these are the right partners and uh, eventually intervene with the pharmacophores or whatever. Uh, finding strategies for, uh, for, uh, for uh, solutions to these uh, kind of illnesses. A lot of the people who are potential contributors to the, the WCG project, they are worried about performance degradation issues, computers overheating. So what would you have to say for something like that? No, I didn't for, people, for people who want to contribute, you know, yes. say if I want to give my computer, uh, yes. to use my computer for this project, yes. I may be worried that uh, my computer, it will be used in its idle time, right? Yes. So I may yes. be worried that yeah, it will be overheating, my, yes. my performance may degrade. So you can decide at any moment, okay. okay, to let your computer work or not on okay. WCG. Okay. Okay, myself, uh, if uh, I see my computer overheating, <laughs> I stop it down and I have really to think in front of my computer I stop the, 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 the computation okay, okay. but uh, there is silly no problems I have a number of computers that are running on these you have the total power of uh, stopping the calculations and, um, and doing it later whenever you want you can program everything by this point of view and what is really important is also that the security is actually guaranteed by by the system okay as most as they can and um, so I would encourage everybody to do okay. it because, because it's really important yeah, for not only for us but for uh, for people and I think that uh, for for other projects and I think that uh, we really need globally to change the mentality and, and give computer power I and mean, it's there to do nothing essentially. Yes. Uh, the WCG promotes yes. uh, competitions amongst people who are on this project. Yes, in groups. Uh, yes, know. in groups, in teams, as yes, team challenges, teams, I think yes. it's called. A uh, couple of years ago, th if you've heard of the SETI at home project, yes. there was this big uh, controversy about people cheating yeah. so they'd get more points. So how does the WCG counter that? 
So to tell you the truth, I don't know how they run all this. I think uh, I, I am uh, on the um, on the um, on the, the, the these uh, these uh, web exchanges of email forums uh, of WCG, and I never really heard any discussion or any problem that was raised by by this type of uh, point stuff. Okay. What I heard is that people really care about points. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> they do. Yeah. <laughs> they because care yeah, about they, these they little the medals. There's a problem at SETI at home. Yes. So, and a lot of people try to do things which would increase their points, yes. which were not legal or which were not right. So, yes. I mean, I just wanted to know if WCG has any system built in to counter that. Perhaps, maybe but I'm not aware. Maybe the redundancy helps with that. Yeah, I am not aware of it. So what's next after the, the after this project, the WCM, uh, the Help Cure Muscular? For us, yeah. for us, yes. there are things that are running in parallel, yes. Right. And uh, so this is uh, actually a project that I don't feel to have finished, okay? Yeah. So there is uh, still a lot of work that, that has to be done on the analysis of data, okay? This is clear. And uh, there are uh, some other um, projects that I'm uh, running on uh, finding uh, much more information, different type of information on proteins. Right. And I'm looking at um, uh, protein uh, um, residue networks in proteins. Uh, and these are networks that uh, might explain the allostericity and the different kind of conformations on proteins. And I do start from evolutionary information for it. And another uh, project that I'm also looking at uh, quite closely is uh, trying to, to, get, um, to get information out of uh, genomes uh, for going towards uh, synthetic, uh, the synthesis of a genome. Okay. Yes, and this is a completely different stuff. Sounds very complicated. No, no, <laughs> but it's a matter of evolution. Thank you, thank you so much for being here. Okay.